We're running it back with the area rando leg day fun stuff. Should be good to go. Should it be a fun time. This time around, instead of me remembering everything with my very fallible brain, uh, there is a map tracker that I'm going to be using to help me keep track of, like, which area leads to which stuff. Which is really important so I don't get lost. Which will help me shave a lot of time off of uh, the speedrun, hopefully. So the way that this randomizer works is every single area transition is shuffled around. So when I go through a red door, I don't know which area necessarily I'm going to end up on the other side. Um, and this is combined with the leg day randomizer. So I will start with Leapstone and I can essentially do infinite double jumps uh, from the start. And my back dash is improved and, and gives me invincibility frame. I thought you could remember stuff with his brain. Last time we did this, I remembered like 90% of uh, what I needed to, which was, you know, good enough. It was good enough. But yeah, let's get into it. Our goal is to, you know, just go around the castle, use our legs the way God intended us to, to backdash through enemies and go fast. Uh, the area rando has this open, so this will be our first uh, tr area transition. So all I have to do is find this and then this and then connect them. Okay. And that's how the, okay. So now I have on my map screen, a connection point that I can uh, reference. I've never seen this. Yeah, it's the area rando. We did a couple of area randos when it first came out, and then I stopped doing them because they felt too bad. Um, but the combination of area rando plus having infinite double jump, essentially flight at the very beginning, makes it a lot better. So... Yeah, every single door transition is completely shuffled. So you can have two door transitions facing the same direction and they'll still be shuffled amongst each other. Fighting Succubus at level one is probably fine, right? Like, it's probably not that scary. It's probably, like, not even, like, that big of a deal. It's probably, like, something I shouldn't even, like, worry about a little bit. Can I? I can touch a spirit at level zero. Level one, I mean. Now. The only downside is I'm doing, like, no damage. But every boss in this game is easy to kill, so it's not that big of a deal. Covenant Stone. Well, now I'm going to be doing big damage. Let's go. The other thing I do like about this preset, uh, Leg Day is fun because of the just the, the movement that you get, except the movement is different. Being able to dive kick after, after a single jump. Can we remove that, please? It's so dumb. You start with Leap Stone. Why would you ever dive kick out of a single jump? Just double jump. <laughs> I'm complaining. Wah. <laughs> Change the randomizer just for me. I disagree. Well, you're wrong. How dare you modify the game, but then do it in a way that like messes with my muscle memory specifically. Uh, hey, welcome, bloody. Bloody mannequin. Glad you enjoy the YouTube content. So you can dive kick bosses? Didn't we just talk about this for 30 seconds? What? Streamer is a hypocrite? Impossible. Humans aren't allowed to have complex opinions on things. My favorite uh, bit of internet discourse is seeing two things that are non-contradictory. Two non-contradictory statements laid side by side. And people are like, um, hypocrite much? How dare you have two opinions that in my uh, tiny brain seem to be contradictory? But then when you think about it for more than 20 seconds, it's not actually a contradiction. There's like nuance that you're missing out on. That's my favorite uh, uh, bit of online discourse. Uh, yeah, we'll check this real quick. Thank you for the sub, bloody mannequin. I appreciate that as well. You are so kind. This gets us to this part of entrance. Okay, 
Using the map tracker lags the game. That's cool. The question is, do I want to go there immediately? There are two relics there, and maybe that is worth checking first and foremost. But there's another area transition and a relic down here that I want to check real quick. No! Don't talk to this guy. Okay, don't need that. Is the backdash long enough to just backdash through the spear guards? Oh yeah, it probably is. That's me not utilizing the, the tools and just doing it vanilla. We got ourselves this outer wall? Yeah. Um, let's grab the warp and then we go back to Alchemy Lab, do those checks. Because that's another thing I probably want to prioritize is getting warps. As much as possible. This also gives me a relic check and two areas. I'm getting farther and farther away from Alchemy Lab the more I do this, which I'm concerned about, but I didn't do this uh, relic check earlier, so I should. Okay. There's two areas as well. So I'm just going to pop in real quick. This is entrance. Right side leads to chapel. This one? Okay. Ooh, library. I'm glad we found that. So we're looking at, this leads to library. Cause library only has one entrance. There's only one way to get into library, that in library cards, but. This also means library cards get us to a warp if we ever find them, which is also good. Yeah, using the map tracker just feels better, so I don't have to use my brain to focus on remembering things. I could just focus on routing. At least that's the plan. What up, Eldritch? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, right before this, we got the fastest magic mirror seed completion ever, which was cool. I'm interested in this. That was dope. And now we're doing more practice. Mana prisms don't really matter that much in this preset, to be honest. Dragon Helm's probably more impactful. Mm. Tolkis. Dragon Helm. Covenant Stone. Farewell for now. now we are big, uh, big Bungus Destroyer of Worlds. And I think that's awesome. Yeah, the, the map tracker makes it so you could just, like, infer stuff a little bit better as well. Yeah, I also made, like, a pretty big mistake in the that seed completion as well. Like, I spent two minutes doing a check that I shouldn't have done because I should have just known the complexity chain made it impossible for that to be a, a key check so it could have been two minutes faster if i was smarter how did you make the background transparent uh it's a neat little thing called chroma key in obs it is a filter that allows you to remove 
certain colors and you can key them out. It's the same technology used for green screens. Yeah, no words. Can we take a moment to appreciate the frost on the water? This game's got some beautiful aspects to it for sure. You are you are allowed to appreciate that. This game's art direction is superb, 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10 even. It's the reason why I think this game is like one of the most important and impactful video games of all time. Just its overall design. Damn, you're dead as fuck. How am I dashing so quickly? Once you uh, get good enough at the game, you unlock the ability to go faster. Just through sheer force of will. So I'm pressing the button harder and it makes you go faster. It's like a technique that's like uh, just recently discovered. You just really have to hit the button really hard though. Same thing for jumping. You can do more double jumps. This is like recently discovered. If you just press the jump button harder. Uh, that is probably our progression, if I had to guess. Which means we have to find... Um, Marble Gallery. Okay, this brings us here. This is a warp. And some relic checks. Controller's broken lawsuit ensuing. No, please! <laughs> this streamer said to break my controller. I want $10 billion in damages. It also hurt my feelings. Come on. Strength potion. No! Gosh darn flea riders. How about you stop riding on those fleas and start riding on these? Nothing. Um, I mean, I guess in case I ever do want mana prisms for whatever freaking reason. Why am I going up here? What is going on? Okay. We got the warp. Let's check out this area transition. Forbidden route. This is good for us. This is good for us. Uh-oh. Uh, sorry, that is incorrect. This needs to go uh, here. Uh-oh. How do you undo? Okay, that's how you undo. Figured it out. And that also means this goes to here. Dude, this map tracker shit is confusing. It's my first time using it. No! My muscle memory for dive kicking specifically after certain timings after a double jump just doesn't work and it's pissing me off. I was hoping there'd be like a candle to dive kick, but. There we go. Pissing yo off. Exactly. Somebody gets it. There's definitely a lot of stuff we want to do here. We gotta do this. What up, Sekosm? I am doing all right. We're vibing. 
Oh, speaking of new video, there should be a new Soten YouTube video coming out pretty soon. I ha I might have the preview of it up for Patreon members later tonight. If you're watching this on Dragon Blitz Daily, the video is already out. You can go to youtube.com slash Dragon Blitz. Check out the new video. It's a new Soten, Soten super mega awesome speedrun explain video with jokes. I know how much you guys like jokes. Jewel of Open. That does open some things. Thank you, Jewel, for opening. That's awesome. I am a joke. Oh. I'm only here for serious. I wish this streamer would stop talking and just play the video game silently to himself. That's all I want. Uh, no. This goes... Where the heck is uh, Alrox's quarters? It's this one. Okay. I can go get the warp. Is this even rando? We can't fight all rocks yet. Um, I guess I'll warp. Probably to outer wall? Because there's a lot of stuff that we haven't done in outer wall yet. And these checks are quick. So we got this one will be Colosseum. I'll take it. We still need to find Clock Tower, but Colosseum is, you know, useful. Uh, does that mean our progression is likely in the caverns? Now that I think about it, because we did find Jewel of Open. I'm starting to get confused, actually, with progression and complexity in a preset like this with so many things open. Uh, there is Clock Tower. Bam. Okay, that. So this will probably bring us to Chapel, Outer Wall, Mines, or Catacombs? Or Alchemy Lab. There's a lot of options here. And I think all of the options are fine. I don't think there are any bad options. Getting past those guys is hard. Hadouken! This is basically Alucard from the Netflix series. This is Alucard from your your wet dreams. This is everybody's favorite Alucard. Okay. So this goes here. That's actually fine for us because now I can go down, which brings me here, which brings me to a warp. That's fine. And then where do we go after this? From the warp room, I mean, we could check the bottom of Allrox's quarters. We can go to the chapel through the entrance. That actually is probably the thing we should be doing because the uh, chapel has the most entrances unchecked. So it's the least likely to get us soft locked. So let's uh, warp to castle entrance. I mean, we won't, we won't soft lock, but like send us down a dead end. It's also very possible that Chapel sends us to that part of um, Alrox's quarters anyway, so. Yes, you should be grabbing every single warp if you can. Uh, we go to entrance. For sure, for sure. The meta is grab every warp and then use the warps to like get to places that you need to get to. Was it top left? 
top right. Yeah, top right brought us to chapel. There we go. And here we have some stuff we can do. I mean, to be fair, the meta isn't like fully developed yet. So like, you know, this also kind of sucks for us because we can't check Spike Breaker yet. So maybe I leave? Because what are the odds that Grand Flume is anything important? Pretty low, to be honest. I mean, I have some invincibility. I can Flappy Bird there. I just don't trust my... I'll try it once. I'll try it once. I did just save the game. I'll try it once. I do have Uncurse, Neutron Bomb, or, and High Potion, so. This is hard. Okay, it's actually not that hard. If you have a little bit of a uh, invincibility, it's actually not that hard. Good call. Flappy Bird Gaming. Doing that without any potions is probably going to be really tough. I'm glad we did that. Because that's probably Final Vlad material. Firebrand. I mean, we're already vibing. Yeah, doing an actual Flappy Bird all the way through would be tough. You know what? I'm skipping Grand Flame. Or actually, maybe I don't because we haven't found anything that was specifically locked behind just Jewel of Open yet. It could be the mines. We haven't found the mines yet. Alucard Shield is nice. It has been done before. I, yeah, I saw it on the, the, the Discord. Dude, just go. I'm, like, not looking at the screen because I just want Alucard to go past all the enemies without me trying. But I have to actually try. And it's like, come on, man. Don't make me do that. Why would you make me do that? Remember shield dashing? I remember shield dashing. Anyways. <laughs> what was that? Death showed up just to scream? Ooh, shit! Whoever said always skip Grand Falloon? Uh, don't. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, shit. Wait a second. Swarm crying in a pile of somewhere? A puddle somewhere? Make it stop! Sometimes I'm like impressed with myself at how good I am at this game, and then other times I'm like, dude, I'm ass. I go from like getting the world record in like a relatively competitive, like difficult thing to do, to just like ramming my face into every enemy over and over again, unable to do simple things. It's honestly impressive. And I wouldn't have it any other way. 
Uh, this is actually okay for us. Copium? We don't have a transformation yet. We leave. I mean, it's good info, but there's no reason to... Because all I would be doing is going... Oh, well, there's sword card, actually. I literally forgot about sword card. Oh, and I have missed. Shit. I'm, like, not paying attention. This is what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, I can miss through all rocks. So I think we just need to find holy glasses, because I'm fairly certain the last Vlad is blocked behind mist. Anyways. What? How? He hit me with a laser fireball. It's not fair. Very much ouchies. I agree. No. Owie. Anyways. Punch face. Well, now we can go check Silver Ring, and we probably should. Uh, Shield Rod was last seed, was it not? Or was it this seed? I thought Shield Rod was last seed, man. I'm pretty sure it was last seed. Yeah, because we bought uh, Tolkis this seed. You guys are suffering from rando brain rot, and you're not even playing the game. How do you think I feel? I got to deal with that and also play the game. It's crazy out here, man. People don't talk about it. They don't talk about the skills required. We still need to find the mines. The mines would actually be ideal because it's a relic. It's a warp. And one more thing, because the rule of threes makes people feel satisfied. Well, there's glasses. Okay. Does that mean Final Vlad is just in the second castle then? Seems likely. Yeah, I think it is. The only downside is we don't know all the area connections yet. Which is interesting. Why are the seed bleed? Why? Okay. Outer wall and... That's actually good for us because now we know that Marble Gallery actually we know where the mines is. It's in Marble Gallery. Okay. Yep. There is a world where the final Vlad is also at Soul of, or at Mist, actually, now that I think about it. And I do not have a library card, so I should just check it real quick. So let's go to Entrance and just check it. It'll take, like, a minute, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. The area connections are the same between castles, yes. Damn, Metroid Map Rando is going crazy today. I know, dude. It gets crazy. Shout out to everybody who's uh, enjoying the Metroid map randos. I think those are super fun. 
and I plan on doing more of those. If I get really, like, dedicated to getting good at Super Metroid, specifically because of the map rando, I think that'd be kind of neat. I've always wanted to get better at speedrunning Super Metroid. It's been one of my, like, long-term, like, just random speedrun goals that I just never actually stuck to. It's like, hey, what if I got good at Super Metroid? That game's really fun. And now the area rando is like, damn, I could, like, learn all of the cool speedrun tricks to use them in the area rando. It's awesome. Plus, Super Metroid is, like, very good. It's, like, one of the best games ever made. <laughs> it's, like, in my top five favorite games of all time. It might be... Yeah, it's definitely in the top five. Okay. This had the potential to be Final Vlad, I'm pretty sure. Because it was the same layer as glasses? Yeah, Holy Glasses can be the final uh, piece of complexity. Yes, that is possible. It does not have to be a Vlad. It can be the, the glasses themselves. In rare occasions. It's very unlikely, but it can happen. Okay, with this in mind, we just go to the second castle. And just do as many checks as we can, as quickly as we can. This is the first time I've ever had to think about it. Yeah, it's incredibly rare. It's technically possible, but incredibly rare. It's because of the number of configurations in which the final thing you can get is the Holy Glasses is pretty low. Because that would mean every Vlad Relic has to be in the first castle, and also your progression has to align such that hitting the complexity requirement happens uh, all within the first castle, which is something that doesn't happen very often. Is it possible to get seeds where you soft lock yourself? No. The randomizer, the, the randomizer has a thing called logic, and the logic solves the seeds for you. Well, not for you, but it solves the seed and then says, if this seed is completable, then create itself, essentially. So the randomizer will never create a random seed that is soft lock possible. You should soft lock yourself now. Let's grab the warp. If I just click sec. Oh, it flips everything upside down for you. That's so cool. Wow, poggers. So we can go to Alchemy Lab by going to the right, or we can go to Marble Gallery. Alchemy Lab has a relic check, and it also leads to Marble Gallery. It also leads to Chapel, which has a relic check. And the last one probably leads to the mines, if I had to guess. No, it doesn't. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Shit, where am I? I'm so confused. Uh, the map? Oh, it doesn't flip left and right like it should. Oh, dude, how is no... It just, oh my God, that's so confusing. The map rando, uh, or sorry, the map tracker is wrong. <laughs> like it doesn't flip the um, the axes properly. In fact, it's not supposed to flip the axes. It, it's supposed to just, um... Jesus fucking Christ, man. Uh, what's it called? I, I can't explain right now because I'm dying. Whatever. It's supposed to rotate the map 180 degrees. Instead, it flips it horizontally. So left and right are not in the right spots. 
which I think is a very funny oversight. So now I have to do the rotating myself, which is whatever. This brings us to Clock Tower, which does have a check. And this also leads to Colosseum. Which leads to Outer Wall. And then Outer Wall gives us a few options along with the teleporter, so we should be good. Oh, we dodging? Holy! Huge dodges. No! These fucking Medusa heads are wild. Finally, a preset without right side. No side is right side. Tribute. Sandarl, thank you very much for the good luck. And make them your much appreciated. I think training arc is going very well. I feel like I am already just to have a better understanding of like what the heck is going on. Which is really good. This guy's annoying. There we go. Oh, well, there we go. Now we just need to go to Clock Tower. Or sorry, uh, Marble Gallery. And this goes to Outer Wall. Outer Wall goes to... Uh, what's my quack quackest? What's my quickest way to get to Marble Gallery? Let me just save real quick. Uh, Castle Keep, actually. So, yeah, we just warp back to Castle Keep. Then we go to Marble Gallery. It's the Forbidden Route, but it'll be fine, I guess. Marble Gallery is the one that we didn't, like, fully route out anyways. Alternatively, we could do All Rox's Quarters, but... It's fine. Um, yeah, it's it's too much effort. So this should take us to Forbidden Route. And then we just take Forbidden Route all the way there. I specifically do not want to kick any of the candles because they'll get in my way. This room's the most annoying part. There we go. All right. What? Freaking Medusa heads, man. Every time. Go above. Just go up. Nice. 40 minutes to get to the end of the game is not bad. I feel like I, compared to the last time we tried to do this, it took us way longer. This seed was pretty good, I'm pretty sure, but. For those that are curious what I'm looking at here, here's the map tracker. My face is covering part of it. 
So I was like messing around with this the entire time to try and get it all figured out for you guys, uh, which is cool and fun. So, you know, we're gaming. We're having a good time. No wolf or bat relics. Uh, bat doesn't exist in this preset. That is a mess. It's hard to read, but without it, it's worse to just remember everything. Map tracker will be displayed during the tournament. How? What about presets that aren't map randomized? It's just going to sit there doing nothing? Have you... Is there a standardized layout that you want people to use already that you've made? Because I'm curious how logistically that would work. Oh, you're saying the players... I thought you were saying the players are going to have it visible. On their end. Are you having it? Wait, or no, you're saying they will. What the... I'm confused. Players will have it visible. Yeah, I just... I don't understand what you mean by this. Whence you came, but whatever. The soul of my mother, no more. How? Either way. How? How is it that I've been so defeated? You have been doomed. Ever was fun. Since you was fun. Seed. I already feel myself getting a lot better. I mean, the map tracker helped a lot for sure because I was able to route stuff. I mean, you have to slow down to like make the marks on the tracker, but it's better than having to remember everything in your brain. Matthew. Good times. Good times. Thank you all for the GGs. Much appreciated. What? And if you're watching on Dragon Blitz Daily, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, join the live stream, twitch.tv slash Dragon Blitz, all that fun stuff helps me out a ton, and I appreciate you for spending your time with me. And I hope you have a good one.